Getting back to Mount Weather was interesting. And what I mean is, we did not see one single godforsaken Zed. Not in the entire 200 miles. We did, however, see some more post-apocalyptic graffiti along the sides of the overpasses and other spots of opportunity. Joker gave a running commentary. Oh, look, that one blames the infection on gays, he said. The one we saw five miles ago blamed the Jews, Bob said. They can't seem to make up their minds. Why aren't we seeing any of the stinking Zeds? Joker asked. I mean, I know the cold messes them up, but where are they? Hibernating or something? What do you think, Zach? They're hibernating or they've migrated south for the winter, but that's only speculation, I said. You know, it's almost like they're human again, Flash remarked. Bob looked at him questioningly. How so, Flash? They can run again. That one Zed that jumped on Conway, there's only one way he got on top of that stack of pallets. He had to climb up there. And the fact that he climbed up there meant he thought it out. He didn't just mindlessly start climbing. Those were freshly infected, I said. They haven't yet experienced any advanced decomposition. But I like your powers of observation. What else have you noticed? Flash looked at me, trying to decide if I was messing with him. I'm serious. Keep going. All right. If they're hibernating, how do they know how to do that? I remember enough of high school biology to know that ain't a natural human trait. It's not, um... It's not innate behavior, I said. Yeah, it's not innate behavior. All behavior is either innate or learned, right? That's true, I agreed. What if they simply migrated south for the winter, Joker asked. That's a learned behavior too, am I right? Flash asked. I nodded in agreement. The old ones are thinking again. They've proven that several times now. 